I think we've got a little bit more we want to talk about. Last quick bit here is uh, we did get a meta event and a, a Microsoft event this week. Uh, we can eventually talk about the Surface stuff, but I do want to dive in a little bit to the meta stuff. And maybe this will eventually be summarized in a video. But new meta headset, Quest Pro. $1,500, 12 gigs of RAM, new Snapdragon chip, 90 hertz refresh rate, one to two hour battery life, 50% better performance than the Quest 2, designed for enterprise. Give one to your employees and they will work in the metaverse and have meetings with each other as they all wear headsets and see each other's avatars with legs. It's Are we sold? With legs. With legs. With legs is huge. Legs. Legs? Legs? Legs. Legs. <laughs> no, but in, honest, in all seriousness, it is a improved design. So they moved some of the electronics to the back, the battery to the back. So now you have weight on the front, weight in the back, and then it is comfortable. We, I did get to try this headset. We wore it for a little bit. Um, so we're working on a video about this stuff, but I think generally my thoughts are more curious about just like, who believes in this future? Accenture. Ex clearly Accenture. <laughs> Accenture bought 60,000 of these. Did they buy them or did they just get them from Mark mm, for, a, for a promo? Ex in exchange for a promo. I don't know. I just think it's fascinating that there is this huge bet from all angles at this future of everything being in the metaverse from meta. And part of that includes um, working in the metaverse. I, I've, seen, I've seen pros and cons of it. I've seen upsides and downsides. It's generally, here's how I'll summarize my thoughts. I think it's a good idea and there are real benefits. I've seen a pass through where you have a laptop in front of you, you put the headset on, and it turns your laptop into huge multi-screen like operating environment. You can do a whole bunch of stuff in there and you can take the headset off and take that with you wherever you want, on a train, on a park bench. That's, I get it, it's super cool. Being in a meeting with nine other people instead of a Zoom call and you can just like turn to the person next to you and go, hey, did you? can you read what he's writing on the board? I can't quite see that. And like the person next to you can hear you, even though it's in VR, you couldn't do that on a Zoom call. Okay, I get it, that works. But looming over all of this is you have to convince people to make an avatar and hang out in the metaverse and like spend meaningful time wearing a headset during the day getting work done. And I don't know if that's possible. Do you think it's possible? I don't think you have to convince people. I think you have to convince the people running the enterprise that they're trying to sell to to then force it onto all of their employees. You have to yeah. convince the bosses because they'll buy them, but then you have to convince Far all the employees people. to use them, to actually use them. <laughs> you know what's funny? B2B is always like the plan B solution when something is not working. <laughs> Every company that like sells like IBM, great example. Mm. IBM was the computer manufacturer. Everyone was fighting against them. Apple was fighting against them. Everyone was trying to beat IBM. Eventually, they lost. What did they do? B to B, baby. Business to business. And like that's what everyone does. And it just makes me wonder. Like, of of course, Quest Two is selling incredibly well considering the entire landscape of virtual reality. They sold a ton during COVID. Um, they've sold a lot because of like Beat Saber and all of these other things. But up until now, and even during the MetaQuest Pro presentation, they talked so much about VR gaming. And it seems like VR gaming and work are the only two use cases that they've been able to bang against the wall. I, I disagree. I feel like they've thought of every single thing you could want to do in VR. They, you, had, you can make your own house in VR and like hang out with your friends in your VR house. So they're like, hanging out with friends, that can be in the metaverse too. Work, that can be in the metaverse too. Uh, f watching a movie, that can be in the metaverse too. You can watch YouTube videos together. Like they, they're just, basically they'll think of every possible thing you could want to do with traditional 2D screen experiences or even non-screen experiences and then just throw as much money at the companies in the space as possible in order to turn it into a viable VR experience. Yeah, you know how like Tesla used the super expensive car, medium expensive car, cheap car model to like get cash injections for each subsequent model. Mm -hmm. I think that could, like as far as AR goes, they've obviously sold a crap load of Quest 2s 
to, you know, a ton sold during COVID because people wanted to do exercise and Beat Saber was very popular. And they're still like one of the most popular consumer headsets, but they are standalone. They're not hyper powerful. And they added a lot of stuff to this MetaQuest Pro that they'll eventually want to put in, say, a Quest 3, like a consumer version of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if they sell a ton of these to consumers, they are to, sorry, not to consumers. If, so if they sell a ton of these to businesses, they'll get a cash injection to do R&D to eventually put in a consumer version of this. But obviously, enterprise is going to be where you can pull the most cash from people at once That's in the true. beginning. And it's pretty easy to convince like IT managers and also the people that are, you know, they have a budget for what they want to do. to increase. I mean, it's not easy, but there are people whose Easier job it is to get fifteen hundred bucks out of somebody. Yeah, you can get fifteen hundred bucks out of a thousand people faster by convincing one business IT manager right. than it is to convince. Okay, there are I people see. whose jobs it is at these companies to be like, how can we make our employees more efficient? And they go to that's like what expos are for, right? Conferences and expos are mm-hmm. how can we make our our employees more efficient? Yeah, and if they can convince the people who run the business that this will, that's a big cash injection. You just get on stage and you say. Meetings in VR make your thing more immersive and everyone's 3% more efficient. Yeah. And 3% okay. you just do like, what does that translate to in terms of actual revenue? Boom. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think. can't wait to play Among Us in VR. <laughs> oh, yeah. Among Us in VR looks like so much. I, here's the thing. I love, I love VR. I love Beat Saber. I love this new game that Ella showed us called, I believe it's pronounced Akron, which is basically you're a tree and get attacked by a bunch of squirrels. <laughs> Um, that people are playing on their phone. So like yeah. fun party game. I love showing older generations it. Honestly, when we're all old, VR is going to be awesome. Like I feel yeah. like we're going to get to experience a million things in VR later. The business aspect of it, I'm still not totally sold on it with like meetings and such in VR. I, I, I get what they're thinking of like Zoom kind of sucks and there's probably a better way of doing it and a more interactive way of doing it. It's not anywhere near there yet. <laughs> and yeah. I am getting, it's hard to convince with the examples I'm being shown right now. They're just slowly, I, I want, I, this is going to be a video for sure. They're, they're slowly just spending as much money as they can to be the company responsible for the VR future. And whatever examples they can think of, of like what would be more fun or what, what's another reason we could get people to use VR? Let's put it, money into it. So if you're thinking gaming is one of those examples, all right, let's pay to make Among Us in VR happen. Let's pay to make this other game and that other game happen. Developer Studios, boom. Oh, okay, what's that? You you want to do work in VR, right? Of course. Microsoft CEO, come on or CTO, come on stage. Satya Nadella, CEO. CEO. Mm-hmm. Microsoft, join us on stage. Let's get Office 365 in there. Let's get Microsoft Teams in there. People will get real work done in VR. Oh, what else are people are gonna do? Uh, they'll just come up with other things and then just pour money on it to be the company responsible for VR happening. So that's what's happening. I don't even think it's an equation of like, how many times can we get 1500 bucks out of people? I think it's just like, we have X billion dollars to make this the future, let's do it. An X runway before our company is dissolved. Yep, and it's either gonna happen or it isn't. And if it works, all the money they'll make is probably mostly from software rather than hardware. Like just all the the money you have to spend inside of that VR headset and subscription bases and subscriptions. In summary, everyone tells them Fetch is not going to happen, but they are trying their best to make Fetch happen. All right, well, thanks for watching this waveform clip from the metaverse. We uh, we appreciate you. I'm sure you're hitting that virtual subscribe button. Uh, also, shout out to the to the legs. The legs. Yeah, the nice legs. legs, Marcos. Have you? Thank you. How much did those cost you? These were thirty dollar meta jeans. Meta jeans. Yeah, they cost more than my actual pants. How much is that in Ethereum? I actually don't know. Not not a whole lot. It's pocket change. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> do your je- do your meta jeans have meta pockets? With pocket change. Meta pocket change. Meta change. Please, please Guys, can we wrap the this like up? Button. Please click the like button so I can take this headset <laughs> like off. Button. Take like me out button. of the metaverse. Get me out of here. Bring us to the real world. My face is getting kind of hot. Your legs are kind of... <laughs> They better be. They cost me like five <laughs> Ethereum, dude. <laughs> Let's cl- cl- close this video before we do the meta pocket thing again. <laughs> <laughs>